Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a scratch dinosaur game. So we're just starting with a blank slate here with a blank sprite, nothing here. And we're just going to start by creating our sprite. So we're going to name this player. Oops, player. Got some capitalization issues. So for player, to create non a custom sprite, you go to costumes, and I'm going to create my own design. So I'm going to press shift. I'm going to press on this square, press shift, and I'm going to drag across my screen. And there we go. I have a square. Now, I don't want it to be too big. No, that's a little big for my liking. It's a little too small. Okay, that's perfect. So you can create like different colors. You can have green, purple, blue, whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it on purple because that's simplest. So once you're done, you should go back to code. And we're just going to start with the simple stuff. We're going to start with variables. So let's delete this. Nobody's going to use this. So let's start with, for this sprite only, let's start with our jumping mechanics. So jump velocity. Okay, so we need this and then another variable. We need jump height. This is going to be useful for our code that we use to have realistic jumping. So usually what people do for jumping is, okay, so we got this. People use this. They use a repeat and then two repeats. Then they use they go to motion, then they go change y by 10, change y by minus 10. Now this is this is kind of useful. You can use this for a simpler game, but instead of going like this, in real life, people don't just go up with and with at the same speed and then go down at the same speed. It's more realistically like you go up, you're fast, you slow down, and you come down slower, faster, faster, faster until you hit the floor. So we're going to create that code. That can be kind of hard in Scratch, but we're going to create that code. So before we do that, it's not very control. You can use this if you want, but... I don't really like to use that because I like to have control and be able to ex I'd be able to well use this messaging system because messaging system can messaging systems can allow you to have before and after screens like game over and starting screens. So if you don't want that, it's fine. Just replace this with when green flag is pressed. But I'm gonna start with. Okay, wait, I have to start with this. Then I'm going to broadcast a message. New message. It's going to be called green. Green flag. So green flag. Green flag's not going to really do anything. So when I receive green flag, I'm going to broadcast another message. So a new message. We're going to do setup. This is where you do positioning and stuff. So when I receive setup, I start game. Oops, new message. Start game. Okay, so now that we have everything, we need to do our position. So we should have Go to, you can find this in the motion. Go to, before we start game, let's go to our starting position. So let's just do negative 150 and negative 70. Yes, yeah, so we start, we start in this position. So if we're over here, we get teleported to this position. So that's our starting position. Actually, 
a little bit in the corner. So I'm gonna decrease this. Yeah, that's better. So now, get teleported there. So, now that we're there, we can start the game. So, when I receive, start game. So, since we have variables involved, we need to reset these variables. So set, we do this in setup because here is more like when I receive green flag. When I receive green flag, I have this buffering period, which is the setup. Setup is where you really wanna, well, set up the game. And then start game is when you actually start playing. So this is where you'd reset all your variables. So set jump height to zero. And also, oops, set jump velocity to zero. Make sure to organize your script because it's really useful. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to create a realistic jump. So let's start with, oops, it's an event. So when, Space key is pressed. Or you could do up arrow because this is the jump button. But so far, we're just going to do a dinosaur game. So jump is the only thing we need. But we could also take this route. My block. Make a block. Jump. Custom block, jump. Okay. So, under this custom block, this allows us to both jump for start game, or for both, sorry. When I press, when space key is pressed, and also when up arrow is pressed, but we're just going to do that. So we define jump. So this is where we write our code. Let's put jump over here. Give it some space because this code's pretty big. So let's start. Define jump. So let's go to control and let's go to forever. So this is obviously we're going to have a if control so if put that in the forever so if something is pressed so if sorry not if space key is pressed okay if space key is pressed you set velocity Okay, wait. We have to first set the jump height to 15. Now, I'll explain this later, but jump height and velocity are different. Jump height is the height, and velocity is how fast you go up and down. So if you just have zero as a jump height, then you won't jump. But if you have 15 as your jump height, You'll go to 15, and then you have a velocity of whatever this code does. So I set my jump height to 15, and I repeat this if forever. So it's constantly checking if this key is pressed. So if it's pressed, then we set jump height, or we set velocity, sorry set velocity which is happening there jump velocity to jump height so so far our jump velocity is 15 okay and we change and we repeat this this next part so go to control 
and repeat until. So repeat until. Jump velocity. So let's go to variables. Actually, no. It equals. We go to operations. So it equals jump velocity equals zero. Okay. So we repeat this, whatever this code is, until jump velocity equals zero. Because right now, jump velocity is 15. We set jump height to 15, and we set velocity to jump height. So velocity is 15. We can check this. See? That's because I didn't put jump. So if we put jump here, we press space. There we go. So we want to, we want to take this away because we're only going to jump when we press space. Okay. Or if we press up arrow, but so far we're not going to do that. But if we want to, we can. So if we press space, we've set jump velocity to 15. I've showed that here. So until, repeat until jump velocity is zero, but it's 15. So how are we going to decrease jump velocity? So we are going to change y. This is the jumping part. This is the moving part. I'm going to change y by jump velocity. So we're repeating this so far. Since we're not decreasing, well, since we're not decreasing, we can continue going. So now we have a constant going up, but we need to stop the going up at a certain point. So we're going to slowly decay jump velocity as we go up. We do this by changing jump velocity. Oops. I don't know. changing jump velocity by negative 1. So each time you go up, you go up by 15. And then you go up by 14. Then you go up by 13. Each time you go up, the jump velocity slowly decays. And I create something like this. So you're going, you're going, you're going fast, and you slow down. But you can't just stay here, because if you are, it's a good flappy bird game, but it's not very good. We have to have gravity. So let's put repeat until, another repeat until. Let's put where is it? right here, repeat until. We still have it in the if block under here. So we have forever, then we have the if block. And inside the if block, we have all our stuff. So repeat until. This is the tricky part. We have join. We have equals, and then we have join. So let's put equals. And then we should have join. OK. So we're going to delete this. And we're going to join it with jump height. So jump height. And we're going to join the jump height. And if the jump height is equal to the jump velocity, then this repeat until stops. So we're going to change jump velocity. By negative 1. OK, and then we also change y. This is the actual moving part. We change y by jump velocity. Oops. Okay, so now, if we see, it goes up, it slows down. It 
it goes up, slowly slows down, and then it slowly goes, and then as it goes down, it goes faster. So basically, this is what this is doing right here is it's doing the opposite of what this is doing. That's what the join minus jump height is. So we press space, we have a realistic jump. Thank you guys for watching. This is the first episode of the dinosaur game. And yeah, thanks.